So in my thesis, I have studied the evaluation of meibomian gland, the structural and the functional component in the pa patients of BKC using the non-contact meibography. So a uh, little bit of background, an association between the severe ocular allergies like vernal keratoconjunctivitis and atopic keratoconjunctivitis is known uh, between the ocular allergies and dry eyes. Uh, many reports have been published. The proposed pathophysiology Sign that is uh, there Sign in the literature is that there is conjunctival inflammation and there is post-inflammatory surrounding tissue remodeling and there is uh, uh, that affects the adjacent tissues like the meibomian glands and this is altering the structural and the functional aspect of the meibomian glands. But the literature regarding the effect of BKC on meibomian glands is scant and the uh, published literature is on confocal which has its own uh, drawbacks per se that it has a limited field of view and it has uh, it does not assess the functional aspect so the aim and objectives of my study was to uh, study the structural and the functional aspects of meibomian glands in patients of bkc using the dipy view 2 machine and performing the other clinical tests in uh, versus the age matched controls so the functional parameters that were calculated in my study were the lipid layer thickness, meibomian gland patency, and meibum quality. The structural components that were assessed were the uh, meibomian gland dropout and the uh, morphological alterations. And uh, we have also assessed the blinking rates uh, in these children. So it was a prospective observational and a comparative study in which 50 patients of BKC were compared with the 50 age matched controls. The inclusion criteria were the moderate, persistent, and severe grade of BKC. This is the Bonini's uh, classification grade, grading that we have used between the age group of 8 to 20 years. Exclusion criteria, any active or post uh, infection, or uh, use of any immunomodulator, systemic or topical, or use of any medications that are known to affect the meibomian gland. And uh, I want to highlight the part that we have excluded the grade 4 and 5 uh, BKC because they have very large papillae uh, which obscure the meibomian glands in the imaging. And plus the, the, the children are uh, quite symptomatic for the examination. So the testing strategy and or the examination part, so we uh, started with the slit lamp examination. After that the dry eye evaluation was done in which the following tests were done. The tear film breakup time, uh, ocular surface staining, the Oxford grading was done, Shermer's 1 score and MIBO scoring in which the expressibility of the meibomian glands and quality of the MIBOM that was secreted was assessed. So the MIBO scoring, it was 0 to 7 and uh, MG, jo, MG expressibility was, uh, ex was seen based on how many glands uh, uh, matlab, did not the plugging of how many glands were plugged. So the higher the uh, number of glands were plugged and the uh, worse the, uh, the worse was the score and the meibum quality if the higher the score the worse is the quality of the meibum. So next was the meibography was done in these patients. So uh, we use this lipid, few, uh, lipid 2 so it, uh, it assessed the uh, meibography that gland imaging using the autofluorescence and uh, the autofluorescence was done basically the meibum act as the contrast for its own and lipid, lipid layer thickness and partial blink rates were assessed by these machines. So both the structural and the functional components were assessed of the meibomian glands using a single machine. And then uh, basically semi-automatic technique was used. So manually using the image J software, I have marked out the uh, dropped out areas and calculated the MG dropout percentage. So MG dropout percentage was equal to the MG dropout area divided by the total, total area. So these were my results. I want to just summarize that the tear film breakup was less in cases. Shermer's was comparable. So uh, we had a, that evaporative dry eye is present associated with ocular surface damage. And there was poor meibum quality. And the, there was a significant loss, MG loss in cases than in controls, suggesting a structural damage. And there was lipid layer thickness was less in cases, suggesting a functional loss. And we had made some correlations also. So I just want to conclude by saying that they, uh, they, uh, the children have a vicious cycle of inflammation due to the disease itself and due to the dry eyes. So they need to be co-managed. BKC patients, the allergy part and the dry eye uh, part need to be co-managed. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, judges. Dr. Tanmay, please come on the stage. In your inclusion criteria, you have included grade 1, 2, 3. How uh, you have excluded grade 1? Uh, sir, sir, we have just in included. In your control, maybe uh, many uh, cases as grade 1 uh, BKC. 
if uh, sorry sir sir we have not included the grade one sir sir just two b sir just grade two b were included okay uh, grade one were excluded sir due to the matlab uh, the severity was less so we were not expecting any kind of changes in grade one so they were excluded sir all the cases were uh, uh, what should i say uh, compliant for uh, all the uh, dry eye examination sir were excluded sir but uh, children are not so compliant exactly sir sir uh, so honestly sir we took around 70 to 75 uh, children the children who just com who completed all the examination were included in the study sir further uh, matlab yes sir sir uh, matlab uh, you should have mentioned how many cases you have excluded during examination uh, process in initial recruitment then uh, you should uh, sir sir i think that yes. yes what's your take home message sir uh, that dry eyes has is uh, being neglected part in the patients of allergy conjunctivitis or the bkc sir but and the sir the uh, cause or the basic pathophysiology is still a question mark in these patients sir that what is the cause of the dry eye or the evaporative dry eye in these patients so the sir the changes in the meibomian glands are suggestive that it is probably the most likely underlying cause for the dry eyes in these children and it need to be co managed sir because if it may have some long term implications on these if the uh, suppose 